So now that we've discussed what a data shortcut is, how do we go about managing those data shortcuts? The way that you can actually start creating data shortcuts and managing those files is by going to the data shortcuts option inside of the Prospector tab and right clicking on data shortcuts and setting a working folder. This is similar to setting your working folder for your survey options. When we set our survey or we set our working folder, I'm gonna go ahead and set a working folder inside of my data sets to a folder that I created called data shortcuts. I'm gonna go ahead and select that folder. And so now that I have a working folder, I have a folder where all of my data sets are going to be placed inside of. And so if I were to open that file right now, so if I go to data sets, this is my data sets folder and you can see my data shortcuts folder here. There's nothing in here yet, but as I go into data shortcuts and I right click and I go to new data shortcuts project folder, what Civil 3D is gonna prompt me to do is give a name for my new data shortcuts folder. And so since this, all the data that I'm going to be bringing in is associated with my development site, I am going to call this dev site. If this was a specific project, maybe a single family residential or a, a we know that this is a roughly around 27 lots, we could say, you know, 27 lot development or something like that, a more project specific name here would be would be a great use of your information. So uh, I'm gonna call it dev site, I'm gonna click okay. Uh, and when I do that, if I pull up my folder now in the data shortcuts, you'll see I have a folder called dev site. And inside of that dev site folder, I have a link for shortcuts. And then inside that link for shortcuts, I have my alignments, my corridors, pipe networks, pressure pipe networks, profiles, sample line groups, surfaces, and view frame, view frame groups. So from these, then if I ever created a data shortcut, they would be dropped inside one of these folders. So now what we can go ahead and do is if you go to the manage tab, you can under data shortcuts, create data shortcuts. You can set a new shortcut folder. You can set, you can set your shortcuts folder. You can set your working folder. So all those options that we had available to us in here, create data shortcuts, set data shortcut project folder, new data shortcut project folder, set working folder. Those are all options up here in the manage tab as well. Associate projects to current drawing, associate projects to multiple drawings. And so you can manage all of these options up here in the Manage tab as well. When you have a data reference, you can also synchronize those references to bring in the latest information into your drawing. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to create some new data shortcuts. We're gonna go ahead and select Create Data Shortcuts. Inside of the Create Data Shortcuts window, we get the options for all of the objects that are currently in the drawing that we can create data shortcuts for. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to create a data shortcut for our EG surface. I am also going to create a data shortcut for our dev corridor surface. I'll go ahead and create a data shortcut for our dev align alignment. And then that will link all of the profiles and sample line groups that are associated with that alignment. And then I could uncheck them if I didn't want to have them brought in. I'm going to go ahead and go to my pipe networks. I do not want to bring in any of my pipe networks and I don't want to bring in any view frame groups, but I will go ahead and bring in my dev core corridor. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And so what Civil 3D has done now is under my data shortcuts manager, you'll see I have shortcuts for these different alignments or surfaces, alignments, corridors. So once, now that we have these data shortcuts, in the next video, we're gonna take these and bring them into a new drawing.